Hi everyone, Cinder here. Welcome back to Wargroove. <clears throat> Act 2, Site 2, Flooded Forest. <clears throat> Sorry. Unhappy with Sedge's deception, Greenfinger confronts the wayward commander. Sedge. We need to talk. <sighs> what were you thinking? Attacking those humans completely unprovoked. The hunt! Sedge was hunting. Sedge found his prey. Greenfinger thinks we should temper ourselves. Be diplomatic. Yeah. Florin are hunters. Florin are killers. Yeah. Greenfinger is nothing but a wilted coward. <laughs> no. Too long have I turned a blind eye to your savage nature. That's enough. This is it, Sedge. You're banished. No. Sedge isn't going anywhere. <laughs> Maybe it's time for a new ruler in the Gloom Woods. Oh, is that a fact? Sedge. Retreat, Sedge. We need not fight this battle. And uh, his eyes glowed white when <laughs> he was serious. <laughs> I hear fear in Greenfinger's voice. If you will not listen to reason, I must resort to force. <laughs> Good. Sedge is ready. Show the enemy stronghold defeat Sedge. Alright, let's see what we got here. Two barracks, <clears throat> which means double the chance for units. Money will be important here. We have the same, we have two barracks. March forward. Do you start with the same thing? Yes. Cool. This feels like an AW map. <laughs> I mean, they all have, but... This place will do nicely. This place will do nicely. But this feels more... More my jam. I may be a tad quiet. Give myself a little bit extra volume. I'm not projecting as well right now. <laughs> Start the resort of recording sessions for today. Dogs can't take can't take villages. I'm actually using a controller instead of the mouse for this one. That's why the screen was was moving. Right stick. Cool. Okay. Um, key is to take villages as quickly as we can. When this is ready, we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna send Greenfinger forward, and we'll capture these villages um, with the unit we spawn from here. So now, how do I pull up information? Okay, why? Kind of learning controls now. Okay, and press B for info. Build another infantry. <clears throat> Uh, he built a, uh, a spearman. This place will do nicely. All right, you build another swordsman, which are slashers. Right there. You capture this one. Hundred gold left.
Oh, they also have trebuchets. Green guard. We don't have the big fancy unit, sadly. Oh, look at the wagon! <laughs> I like the way the wagon looks. <laughs> I also like the, uh, the green guard. I like the ram sheep thing. Okay. Do I want to build another unit? What's my income? Three hurt. He started with an extra village. Which means I couldn't get a shooter anyway. Another slasher. The good thing... Oh, but a dog unit. The good thing about the... The spearman for us is that he's going to be slow. Capture this one. It's more income. That gives us 300. It's the like green finger is going to be our advantage down here, taking these. I have 300 gold. These three will suffice up here unless uh, Sedge starts moving. When we have a little more funds, we're going to want to build a wagon. Maybe two. And we're going to start taking the wagons to reinforce the front lines with units quickly. Uh, for now, we are going to... Get some more swordsmen. Oh, uh, got an archer. <clears throat> We're gonna take a numbers advantage since we want to take take villages. This place will do nicely. Greenfinger thinks he can intimidate Sedge. Sedge will, so, will show Greenfinger how a real Florin hunts. No. I will not let you continue down this path of destruction. It's time to leave Sedge. All right. That gives us a lot of villages. We now balanced out the income with that extra village that he has to start with. That we do not. Right there. I'm gonna build a wagon. Can't build another wagon. Six hundred. That'll give us eight hundred next turn. I can build a wagon and a shooter. That'll be good. Or I can build um, a cavalry. I think that's what I'll build. I'll build the cavalry, which. Sedge just did. Also, the Spearman's coming, but he's alone, so...
want her more gold, then I could have a trebuchet. get the bonus of, of that. If I block the road though. Where all can you hit? I can drop off there and be ready. there too. You move there. I know. Yeah, there we go. Alright, for that cavalry that's coming, let's get cavalry of our own. <laughs> I like he just grows his mouth. I like how it rams too. <laughs> forward. Here comes the cavalry. Now we're going to take damage because the spearman is a better unit, but we have defense advantage and advantage of the mountains. here I'm going to buy a shooter and that's all Get shot by the archer. But couldn't get hit by the by the cavalry. I think I'm gonna have to wait a turn. As much as I want to grab this and then take take advantage of of uh, money. We're gonna We're gonna have to wait. Okay, that does it for this turn. I think I don't have a unit I'm missing, do I? <laughs> no, I didn't think so. Huh? It is a grave crime to use the Guardians of the Forest against other Florin. <laughs> so, Greenfinger won't use Gloom Giants? All the better for Sedge. Ah, oh, so that's why he's not using it. That's the... The story reason. I'm okay with that. It's a crime. I'm not going to stoop to that level. Okay, well that plays into what I was going to do anyway. I was going to buy a trebuchet. <laughs> so just moving. Mm. A 
something we're gonna have to deal with now. I want the first hit on that for sure. Not a lot I can do about the archer at this moment. Check the cover. Forward. Huh? Uh. Cover is strong, so we do take some damage. Oh yeah, what's yours? The vines. Oh, damage matrix. That's cool. Green figures out when it's a brave and wise and experienced elder who rules the Florin with strength and compassion. He has the ability to prov produce and manipulate plants at will by invoking the powers of nature. An ability uncommon even among the Florin. An ethos. Groove. Wild growth. Green figure fix picks five tiles within a range of five in which to instantaneously grow, instantaneously grow vines, blocking enemy movement. Greenfinger's Wild Growth is particularly useful in conjunction with ranged units that are able to use his vines for cover. During Fog of War, the vines are also capable of uh, ambushing foes, which ends their turn. That's going to be useful. I'm basically going to block out the giant, or maybe block out Sedge for a turn. Basically grow it here, or here, depending on where they move. 35, 32. You can still go down. You have the archer, which is now protected. We're gonna take some damage, but I feel good where we are on this bottom. This bottom route. Still says you're gonna hit. That stinks. Okay. We're out of money. You're probably going to shoot... Griever, you might shoot the uh, the wounded infantry. I'm going to wait a turn on the infantry. I'm basically going to smash it down with with uh, the cavalry, probably. So I'll wait a turn on that. That's okay. Did shoot Greenfinger. That's okay. You damage your Greenfinger, but I'm about to send him back. Okay, here comes Sedge. I can feel the energies of the force building within me. As ever, I will use them to summon great vines to shield my allies or to trap my foes. 
saddens me that you, Sedge, now fall into the latter category. Well said. Oh, I can't use it quite where I want. Can I move here? Yeah, I can. I want to put one there. I want to put... Um, well... Oh, man. I'm just not in a good spot now. I can fix that. You're in the way. That's the problem. Oh, I can't quite reach the archer. Well, I can't quite reach the archer with the uh, with the cavalry, but that's okay. Okay, first I need to move green finger. Wild growth from here. Yeah, I want to place it here and here. There, that gets me everything I want. I can place it here. I hope it doesn't have to be in a row. Nope, it's just five tiles. Excellent. I'm basically blocking out Sedge. <laughs> he could chew through all of it first. I can stop the Gloom Giant for a turn. That'll give me time to reinforce that up there. And... Where else? Guess there? Nature's cry! Greenfinger should stay away. Sedge will bite. Sedge will kill. Okay. That lets me take this. But the other thing it lets me do is with this, lets me get a critical hit. Pretty much defanging this, this archer. We start moving the trebuchet out. Oh, now I can reach with with the full HP one. Perfect. Ah, uh, come on, 105. Now, the dog could cause some problems, but I feel pretty good where we are. Should I get a stabber? Yeah, I'll get a stabber. Next up is a trebuchet up here, and we'll start rolling it towards Sedge. We get three turns. <laughs> Plus I have... Um, I want to get the... The name right. Slashers. Up here as well. We get the trebuchet in position for the... Um, for the giant... Probably this, if it lives, will have to take a hit, which I know it can't, but I'm going to need a turn to get the trebuchet right here, probably, to get ready to fire.
And I think... I think that does it for our turn. I make 700 now. Next turn, I might get another... Get another stab or two. Okay. That's our turn. Got another cavalry. Died. I was hoping it wouldn't do enough. Oh, it survived! Excellent! <laughs> hey, alright! How long do those last, I wonder? Oh, they get HP. Okay, health depletes over time, just like the cherry stone. Well, now the way is clear, so... I need you up here. Two to five, right? Still won't be in range. I'll need another turn. Build a trebuchet. Build another stabber. I really need to heal. I could heal there, but then I can't hit. I gotta get rid of this. <laughs> or it causes any more trouble. You do 10 and it does 121 back. I can use the 100 gold I have left to reinforce. You're gonna move up here and hit. You can get and wipe that one out. But your range isn't gonna be enough. So I'll have to deal with that. I'll basically have to stall it for one more turn. Got an archer down there now. Now we're in range. 
<laughs> Load you up. Move you out. Sedge started to move down here. Good and bad. Get me... That would be a hundred gold short. Give me another tree guard. I'm getting another trebuchet next turn. I said, you should be able to shoot it. I can do 45 to the... Do 15 critical and you still take 115. <laughs> Shoot the Gloom Giant. Hey, then it has a chance to not die. Since I'm going to be a hundred gold short anyway. Just for numbers. Just for numbers again. Move you up. You get ready to deal with that. Then it'll kill and it can move. You can't shoot this turn anyway. This will hurt, but let me do some damage to it with Green Finger. There's no ranged units around anyway. Sedge can't make it. Actually, you just wait there. That gives me options next turn. Okay. Just gotta cut through these units, and we'll have a pretty good pretty good base for for this. We have trebuchets there and on the way to help reinforce. Things are looking up, but anything can happen. So I just groove isn't ready. I don't remember what it was. So there's still a lot that can happen. But that's going to do it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. Until the next one, I'm Cinder9. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone.